Ugh, I don't understand you. You're all up on perches, but it doesn't hide your arsehole. <laughs> you don't give a shit about gods and heroes. If you are honest, each one of you, which of you isn't more at home with his hairdresser than Hercules or Horatius or your stupid Denias comes that? Or, or mine? Mine? Idomeneo, king of Crete. Oh. All those anguished antiques, they're all bores. Bores, bores, bores. I mean, all serious operas written this century are boring. <laughs> Look at us. Poor gaping mouth. What a perfect quartet. I'd love to write it. Just this second of time. This now is you are. <laughs> Air Chamberlain thinking, Oh, impertinent Mozart, I must speak to the emperor at once. Air Prefect thinking, Ignorant Mozart debasing opera with his vulgarity. Air chord composer thinking, jamming Mozart. What can he finally know about music? And Mozart himself in the middle thinking, I'm just a good fellow. Why do they all disapprove of me? That's why opera is important, Baron. Because it's realer than any play. The dramatic poet would have to put all those thoughts down one after another to represent this second of time. The composer can put them all down at once and still make us hear each one of them. Astonishing device. A vocal quartet. I tell you, I, I want to write a finale lasting half an hour. A quartet becoming a quintet, becoming a sextet, on and on. All sounds multiplying and rising together and then together making a sound entirely new. I, I bet you that's how God hears the world. Millions of sounds ascending at once and mixing in his ear to become an unending music unimaginable to us. That's our job. That's our job. We composers to combine the inner minds of him and him and him and her and her. The thoughts of chambermaids and court composers. And turn the audience into God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I talk nonsense all day. It's, it's incurable. Ask Stanzarola. My tongue is stupid. My heart isn't. <laughs>